What's up guys, Calvin here. In this video, I'm going to uh, explain you about how to extend the battery life. So this is a Nitro Nectar Battery 300. Uh, the VR drone, it comes with the 250. Uh, it's a little bit shorter. So let's plug in and then um, I will show you the number on the, the monitor. Now it shows 3.7 volts. And then we recommend you to fully charge the battery before you take off. When you fully charge the battery by the charger comes with the VR drone, it will reach up to 4.3 volts or 4.35. It's between this range. When you start frying, you will see this battery. When you push the throttle, it will drop down. When this value drops down to 3.2 volt, that's the lowest voltage. And then we recommend people, uh, user, to stop frying at this voltage and then recharge the battery. And then how to maintain the battery. Uh, basically, uh, after you fry, the battery will get warm up or like even hot. During uh, that high temperature status, you don't want to charge the battery like immediately. Let the battery to cool down for a couple minutes and then charge it. Uh, if you charge the battery after you just thrown it, uh, and also if you use some other, other third party charger that provide a high current, it might damage the battery to shorten the, the battery life. And then for the, the battery storage, we highly recommend you to keep your battery on 3.7 volts or 3.8 volts. If you are not frying it, if you, you are going to uh, put it into a storage, and you are not going to use it for a long time. Uh, the easiest way to discharge the battery is just plug it into your drone and then fry it and just take off hovering until you see the voltage drops down to uh, 3.7 or 3.8 volt and stop at that and unplug the battery and then keep it into your container. With this voltage, you can keep the battery in a, in a good shape for a long time. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a good day.